Sheringham on the North Norfolk coast. Just had a hailstorm. I've come down to show you the seafront. You can see the waves are crashing and a roaring. It's quite something. It's just beginning to hail again. Very big bolts here. Hi, and thanks for joining me. I hope you're all keeping safe and well, looking after yourselves, your friends and families. I thought we'd start this episode with some bracing views of Sheringham on the sea front. I recently visited my father in North Norfolk, who lives not far from Holt. Sheringham is on the coast, as is Cromer. I also visited Cromer and we'll see some shots of that a bit later. But I do hope you enjoyed the opening scenes. I'd like to start by thanking some viewers for sending me Christmas cards already. In particular, Lynn and Victor in Australia. They've watched the channel from the start they haven't enjoyed particularly good health this year so i wish them all the best for next year they've sent me a lovely handmade thank you card and also a beautiful handmade christmas card i almost feel as though i should burst out in song but i'm not going to also a big thank you to linda and kevin who have also sent me a handmade christmas card with a lovely canal scene on the front. So thank you very much for that. I must also thank Brenda, who's made me a lovely Christmas cake. I received that the other day, so thank you very much indeed. She did promise this to me some while back, so I was delighted to receive it. Thank you very, very much. I recently did a promotion of my merchandise there was an offer on for 15% off. Thank you to anyone who took up that offer. 
I'm never aware of who the actual buyers are, but I do know that some sales were made. It was a one day offer and it was in Pacific time as opposed to our time and it made it very difficult to know just what time that was over here because I think Pacific time also varies by an hour so I found it a little bit confusing to advise people as to what time <laughs> the promotion was on for but as I say it was very short-lived one day only and thank you very much to those of you that did make purchases Something I have mentioned in the past and want to mention again is that when I publish a video I get lots of lovely comments and encouragement from you and very often I get email notifications that someone has made a comment on a video. Now it does happen quite frequently that when I click on one of those notifications it does not open into the video and I cannot respond to it. This is very very frustrating for me because people take the time and trouble to comment and I like to take the time and trouble to answer and I do really do my best to answer everyone that makes a comment. I have said in the past that I might stop doing that and probably I do need to stop doing that but <laughs> I've just carried on in my usual way but now and again I get the email notification I can read the message sometimes or part of the message but I cannot respond to it and I am sorry for anyone that has made a comment and you've not heard back from me it's because I am unable to do so but please do keep your comments and encouragement coming it does mean a great deal to me what I tend to do is check the email notifications I've had with the comments on the YouTube website and make sure they are answered. Sometimes I know people watch the videos on the television and they can't comment on there so they will either comment later or they comment via Facebook. The Facebook notifications I tend to see and can respond to. I think it's the way individuals have their own notifications set up as to whether I get a notification myself because I've always found it a bit odd that sometimes I get notifications and sometimes I don't but I do do my best to respond to everyone I entitled the thumbnail for this video is this the end that might have had you guessing as to what I was talking about well it is very nearly the end of the year but that's not what I'm referring to I have this year published 91 videos, that's since December last year, I've published 91 videos which is on average one every four days and that is quite hard going I have to say. I'm presently publishing my Leaking Canal series which has gone down extremely well, there have been five so far there will definitely be another one and I'm hoping that will be the final one but thank you to everyone that has watched it's been very very popular it's attracted a lot of new subscribers as well so a big welcome to anyone that has subscribed recently it is much appreciated and keep your comments and support coming That's, that means a great deal to me I have given a lot of thought to the way I go about things and I don't think I necessarily do things in a very efficient manner. <laughs> I take a tremendous amount of footage. The difficulty with that is it all has to be looked at in real time and that in itself is very time consuming. I'm looking both at the video quality and the audio quality and altogether the actual management of the footage I take is quite a task in itself. What I tend to do, if I can, I keep the original recorded video on the individual SD cards that they're recorded on. That's not always possible with the bow cam views, those cards are smaller and need cleaning off. But generally I keep the footage on the cards, I copy it across to my laptop so I can use it and I also back it up on an external hard drive. 
and I've often got a number of projects on the go all at the same time. I don't edit everything straight away. So what this means is that my laptop is always nearly full. <laughs> There's very little spare capacity. But when I have published something and it's done and dusted, I delete the information from my laptop and I just retain it on my hard drive. But actually managing that and copying things across it's very very time consuming and when I published All Mixed Up that was a very popular video and that was a bit of a mix of things mainly to do with canal related items but it went down very successfully and I'm planning similar things for next year. I didn't film my return trip from Kilby Bridge but I did do quite a lot of filming and I filmed various different things for forthcoming videos which I haven't yet produced. <laughs> I've got quite a lot of projects on the go and I have been publishing it seems to me every Sunday right throughout the year with occasional videos midweek hence the number of videos I have produced but I do need a break so what I've decided to do, I'm probably going to have a break from publishing in January. I will not be publishing a video on Sunday, is it the 19th? I think it is Sunday the 19th of December. I am away that weekend. I hope to get the latest or the last uh, video in the Leaking Canal series published <laughs> sometime in the next week. The works are due to finish on the 17th of December so whether it will be published next week or the week after I can't say. I'm hoping that will be the final one. It's quite a lot of work um, getting that together. I've really enjoyed making it though and as I say it's been very popular so thank you all for your support with that. But I want to talk about going forward it's going to be an exciting year next year. I'm not giving up, so don't worry about that at all. But if there's a lull in January in particular where you don't hear from me or you don't hear from me so much, please do not worry. I will be editing in the background. I've got a lot of different things to prepare. I've got so much footage in so many different folders on my laptop that it takes a tremendous amount of time just to go through everything but I will get there, so bear with me. The other thing I need to mention is that I've been using PowerDirector 365 as my editing suite, and it is a fantastic piece of kit, but it has let me down in that I have quite a number of problems with that at the moment, and this is something else that I need to sort out before next year comes. And I'd like to thank Ian from Narrowboat Tales. He's a great friend and chum, and he's helping me resolve my issues. And I hope in the next week or so, this will be done and dusted, and I'll be able to carry on. At the moment, I believe that my software needs to be uninstalled and reinstalled. And I'm a bit worried about doing that. So Ian has been making inquiries for me, and I hope soon to have that resolved one way or the other. I won't go into the difficulties I've been having other than to say that when I did the last update it said do I want to keep my original settings and I told it yes please and it didn't. A lot of things changed. It's very awkward. It has a fail safe sort of mechanism that if it crashes out you can recover the video you were working on right up to the last point you were working on it but at the moment that facility doesn't work and it doesn't work because a pop-up keeps coming up at the start when I switch it on and when I get rid of that pop-up that sort of disables that facility so if there is an issue and it crashes out I can only recover work up to the point that I last saved it and when I'm working intensively, I sometimes forget to save, which is very frustrating when you do lose work. And it does happen from time to time. And I'm hoping by resolving the editing software issue 
that I will overcome that in the future. The other thing is that I feel that I'm rushing a lot of the time to get my videos out to you and I make mistakes. They're not necessarily mistakes that you would notice but they are mistakes that I am making and that does bother me. The last leaking canal video I published, I edited it, I made it, I uploaded it to YouTube. The actual uploading to YouTube took about three hours. And then when I looked at it, I realized there was a spelling mistake on the word Yelvertoft. I missed off the last T. I just could not allow that to go through. So I had to re-edit, remake the video and upload it again. Many, many hours of additional work and I must try and avoid that sort of thing. But I feel very often I'm rushing, rushing, rushing. And I don't want to be doing that. I really don't. So bear with me while I have a bit of a break in the early part of the year. I think now that we should have a look at the footage of Chroma that I promised you and the pier on their seafront. I'm now in Chroma, just going to have a look at the pier. It's very windy here, very windy indeed. Many, many thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I will be publishing a Christmas message. <laughs> I've not thought about that yet. There's something else I need to do <laughs> before having my break, as it were, but uh, I will get round to that. So as always, look after yourselves, your friends and families. Take the utmost care. Until next time. Aha, I've just remembered. I should be telling you that there is a live stream on Christmas Day between 10 and 12. So look out for the notifications for that. So back to my goodbye message. Take the utmost care. See you shortly. Bye for now. If you haven't yet done so, please do think about subscribing and click the little bell to receive notifications of future videos. Thank you.